Now, two famous brothers made a return trip to the East Midlands today to receive a top academic award. Richard and David Attenborough, who are now a Lord and Sir, respectively, were awarded honorary fellowships by the University of Leicester. Yes, the university campus is already a familiar place to the pair of them as they grew up on site when their father was university principal. Well, Phil Brewster went to see them and please be aware that there is some flash photography in this report. As famous siblings go, these two are about as good as it gets. One is a much-loved actor and film director, the other a world-renowned naturalist and TV broadcaster. Today, Lord Richard Attenborough and his brother Sir David return to the city of their youth to be awarded distinguished honorary fellowships by Leicester University. It's marvellous to have our relationship with the place where we spent so much of our youth uh, made formal in this way. Oh, I'm a, I'm a beginner, really, compared to his. I mean, he's in the 50s and I'm in the fives. First up was the Richard Attenborough Centre for Arts and the Disabled. First opened nine years ago by Lord Attenborough and Princess Diana, shortly before she died. It was also an emotional day for Deepak Joshi from Leicester. 24 years ago, he was a T-boy on the set of the film Gandhi, which was directed by Richard Attenborough. Do you remember all those chilled cold drinks he brought you 21 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> they were all double scotch, actually. <laughs> Lord Attenborough is really grasped the Gandhi. They put a Gandhi into the practice in the film vibrantly. And to see that practice is, is the memory of my life. Now, the Attenborough brothers are no strangers to Leicester. Their father, Frederick Attenborough, was a former principal of Leicester University between 1932 and 1951. Now, the family lived on campus here at College House, where both of the brothers grew up. And in 1970, both David and Richard received honor degrees from Leicester University, and both are freemen of the city. Finally, after a spot of lunch, just time to try on those dress robes required on these occasions before the formal ceremony. And then the handing out of the fellowships. A fitting recognition to two brothers who had given so much to the city that was once their home. Phil Brewster in Leicester for Central News. Well, they deserve it. A couple of right gentlemen, if you Definitely. don't mind me saying so.